Hey, what is going on, everybody? JB here with another political video, and today, I mean, I guess it's somewhat not a political video, uh, but yeah, I'm making a video today about um, the quote unquote super straight movement. I'm just going to be breaking it down, I'm going to be talking about like why it originated, what it's meant to do, and things like that. Um, if you are someone that agrees with super straight or someone that d disagrees with it, I'm just going to be explaining like the origin of it and what it is i'm going to be putting some of my insight on it but again not everything i say in this video is of my beliefs i'm just going to be talking about what it is about how it originated uh who did like where it came up from like again how it originated um how people interpret it how people believe in it how people think it's bad all these kinds of things um if if you've already noticed i'm a little bit nervous in this is uh, i i think it's maybe toying the line with youtube i'm not exactly sure but again uh everything i say here take it's not most of it's not what i'm saying if it is my opinion i will say hey this is my opinion on it if i don't say that the rest of it is just what i'm analyzing from what i've seen um if you do end up liking this kind of video please leave a like and subscribe down below it would really really help me out let's see the end of the video so first things first, we're going to look at the actual definition when like, there isn't a real definition for it. There's only uh, from the Urban Dictionary because, you know, it's not like something put into like the Merriam-Webster Dictionary yet. But I, I don't think it will be, but who knows. So super straight, this is the top definition. It says, when one shows sexual attraction towards the opposite gender and the condition, the person is born as a cisgendered person. Meaning, for instance, I'm a man. Uh, I am attracted to cis females. Meaning I, I'm not attracted to... Uh, non-cis females. For instance, if someone was born a man and they decided that, hey, they feel like they're, they're not a man, they were born in the wrong other body, and they feel like they're, they're actually a woman, I, me personally, this is my opinion, I would not be attracted to them. Yeah, it, it, I'm sorry, it's just, I, I don't, I'm not sure that I want to be able to have a family uh, like with someone that, like, I, like if I'm going to date someone and I'm going to marry someone eventually, I want to be able to have a kid with them, with both or, like, genes you know i want like 100 percent us which couldn't be done with that also i'm just not generally attracted to uh any transgender individuals i've ever met um i don't believe i ever would be also my uh my religion sort of says no to that but again even if that wasn't put into it i i'm just not really attracted to transgender individuals so i don't my opinion on the super straight is it's just straight um and the people that like I'm, from my, in my opinion if you like you actually i'm not gonna say it's like it's interesting because, like, for me, sh straight is just a guy and a girl. That's that's what straight is. And then now, since there's trans woman, there's a trans woman and a, just a man. They're, they're saying that is straight still. I don't, I, I don't see it as since it's a member of the L LGBT community. They they can identify as woman, but still they were born as a man with chromosome wise. So it still is, I guess, gay. I mean, like again, this is all nuanced. So this is just my what I I'm understanding from it so far. Let's continue on. So this is. From LGBTA wiki, so they put this here and saying potentially controversial because it's not accepted into them and saying that it could be offensive and discriminatory. So saying super straight is the sexual orientation for those who are heterosexual but only like those who identify with their gender at birth. So basically, again, what I was saying earlier, apparently this is the, the flag which I have here, which will probably be in the thumbnail somehow. Um, but yeah, basically, those saying that it is has transphobia, which I, I disagree with, I just it's just saying, hey, I'm straight, I do not. I'm not attracted to someone of the trans like trans community. I don't see an issue with that. It's the same thing saying, oh, I, I everyone has a type. Like, for instance, I have a type. I'm not going to like people that are not my type, generally speaking. Uh, whether your type be tall, be skinny, be a little bit bigger, be short, be uh, X race or ethnicity, things like that, which some people say there's issue with that, but it's, it's all based on what people really believe in. You know, it's like it's what they like. They feel attracted to. You can't like control it. And me, I'm not attracted to any transgender individuals. So that's just again, this is just is just like reiterating it. And then there's been a lot of pushback from like the uh, the LGBT community, especially like the trans community. Um, again, this is not for all transgenders or all LGBTQ AIP plus uh, people. Again, I'm trying to respect everybody. Um, I have my opinions and what I believe. And again, everyone else has their opinions what they believe. But I'm trying to keep this video more neutral, uh, in this whole thing. Because I, 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 again, those people out there that are trying to get the community banned off of, I believe they're talking about Reddit, because they made a group, um, you can read this all on your own, but the main thing is they're trying to, like, uh, like, uh, I believe it's called, like, uh, they have, they have a word for it here, they're trying to, where is it? I can't remember. So they're trying to like oh, brigade it. They're trying to get it like taken down and by brigading it, which again I, I I don't I don't support that. Even the people I disagree with, I don't support that because 
freedom of speech. And I, I can I can feel the way I want. You can feel the way you want. We may not agree, but we both have our own freedom to do so. So, again, I just agree that um, if you want to see the video, I will be playing it in a minute on this. Basically, right here, this article is by Pink News. It's a uh, it's talking about trans issues. It's it's more of a for it's like more LGBT uh, plus journalism, and I believe uh, I, I used to think it was about women, but maybe it's just LGBT. Plus, I'm not exactly sure. I'm sorry about that. But continuing on, see one TikTok user has perfectly the thing that the saying that this guy that made it is uh, T phobic. Uh, I, I, you know what I mean. I don't think YouTube likes me saying that. But basically, he said this is what he said. So let's listen. I wouldn't date H. Paul. Let's start it. Right no, guys, I made a new sexuality now. Actually, it's called Super Straight. I just want to say, YouTube, if you're saying this, this is not me saying this or endorsing this. Um, this is just me analyzing it. Um, if you watch my videos regularly, you probably could guess what I believe about this. Um, well, I believe, I'm just saying, I believe, it, I, don't, I don't see it as an issue, the super straight movement, because, the, 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 yes, are there people in there that are probably transphobic? Yes. Are there people in there that are not transphobic? Definitely. It's just those group people in the trans community um, who are anti uh, heterosexual, which it, it, it is a thing. And those people that are in there that or not so it just depends on the people for instance like one of the things i saw on this one it said uh no cis sexual meaning so a transgender individual who uh, is saying to the uh, trauma fear or deep desire basically it, it, that's they're saying that but it could also be someone that just is not attracted to cisgender individuals like i'm not i'm just not attracted to to transgender individuals so this is not an issue with that there shouldn't be an issue with that so this is just clarifying and i guess i mean I would just say straight because I, I I still see it as straight unless you're like with trans you know what I mean so let's continue on okay since straight people or straight men is myself I get called transphobic because I wouldn't date a trans woman you know they're like would you date I did have a conversation similar to this when I was in high school um and I I was called uh t-phobic at one point because I said I wasn't going to I, w I wouldn't date a member of the trans community, which I don't see as an issue because it's just, I'm, I'm not attracted to them. It's nothing to do with like them. It's just I'm just not attracted to that group of people. Um, same way, some people again are not attracted to certain like body type or not attracted to certain height. It's just attractions. You can't really help it. I'm just not attracted to them. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's just how it is. Date a trans woman. I'm like, no. Why? That's female. Uh, no, like, that's not a real woman to me, like, I want to... Again, I, I, that, the, my opinion, I agree. I mean, you can, you can, I, you, I, 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 do, I feel, I, I'm really trying to word this right, like, my opinion is, I don't want to exclude anyone, so if you're a transgender individual, that's fine, good, as long as you're over 18, I feel like you should be able to go through whatever you want, uh, again, I, I think there should be an age limit, you shouldn't, I don't think you should be giving hormone blockers to, uh, children as young as, like, 15 and younger, I, I really don't think 18 or younger, or 17 or younger, uh, once you're 18, they're an adult, they can do what they want with their body, all that kind of thing, but I think until then, they still need to be able to understand, because like, for instance, when I was younger, I wanted to be like a, like a, obviously this is making, this isn't like a 100% correlation, but I want to be like a paleontologist, that's a job, this is sexuality, it's very different, but I grew out of that, I grew out of it, and a study shows that some people do grow out of it, so I just want to say, generally speaking, I want to give, I don't want someone to choose that and the lifestyle and then regret it later on so that's my opinion on it again just my opinion but the way i see it is uh, i want to play back what you said really quickly just to reiterate that like for instance yeah i i, I see if, if there's a trans woman meaning that they were born a man they uh, transitioned to a, a female i will respect their pronouns i will call them that if we're talking but in a debate i will for if it was a debate and we're discussing about the trans issue is, is, are they really a woman or are they are still a man i would refer to them by as a man in that instance because i i do still see them as a man uh, uh, but i will i will say that, hey i will talk to you and identify you however you want but still i still have my beliefs and my like you know in, in the, I, i'm religious so that's like how it is i mean again i'm not trying to be discriminatory to you it's just that's how i feel uh no like that's not a real woman to me like i want real woman. no you're just transphobic so now i'm super straight i only date the opposite gender women that are born women so you can't say i'm transphobic now because that's just my 
sexuality. And I guess if that's what it takes to make that clear, I guess that would be me for me too. Uh, I mean, <laughs> if I have to go with that, again, I'm just going to say I'm straight, which is incorporating that because I don't believe that there is really need a distinction made, but maybe there is now, who knows? So again, uh, going to Twitter, we see people talking about this and then there's some people that are like against it, some people that are for it, and it's, it's really interesting to see. It's really it's really just weird right now what we're saying, but yeah, I see. So I just wanted to go to the Reddit, uh, this or slash super straight Reddit, um, where we're looking at it, so it says right here, we see, right here, um, right here, so these are like the community, so, uh, right here, community for oppressed men and women that consider their sexuality, gender, religion to be a super straight, super straight, sexuality man means to describe male or female that is only attracted to the opposite biological sexual gender, again, hashtag super straight, so this is not transphobic or homophobic, everyone is welcome to have logical, factual, and respectful arguments, so exactly, exactly how I feel, 100%, so, so I just want to point out a few different threads real quick, so it says, this is a super lesbian, thank you, generally, thank you. So, as a lesbian, I faced more homophobic, uh, H-phobia from T people than my Muslim family. Can't tell you the number of times I've heard, quote, if you use straps, you should take the D. Cis, lesbians, lesbian, I don't know if that's like a bad word, T, need to S-T-F-U and choke on a D. Lesbians love D. You're not a lesbian if you won't date trans women, which I, I disagree with. You, it's like, well, it's all about who you want to be with. So that, that has nothing to do with it. So again, you see all this. This is someone that is just like, really like, hey, I've had more bias from people than my Muslim family, which is crazy. Because we all know like the Muslim people tend not to, like religion wise, same like Christian or uh, Catholic, don't recognize LGBTQ. Um, which I, I'm not saying that I am like that. I'm just saying that's what, the groups do. So see, um, I don't know this one I wanted to show. So, yeah, trans people are not entitled to the body. So, for instance, the same way that, uh, incel, we're talking about incel, I'm not saying transgender people like incels, but saying incels are not entitled to sex with women who don't want them. Trans people are not entitled to biological men or women who don't want them either. So are you, like, I, I understand that you may want to be with someone, but if they don't want to be with you because of your sexual identity, you can't hold that against them because that's just, they were, that's how they are. So again, this video, I, I sort of like, Footed around what I was saying. Um, if you want to usually watch, you probably haven't seen that for me before. It's just um, people I talked to before main video said it could. It, I, I just don't want to get in trouble any with anything uh, with YouTube, especially this video. Um, but again, no hate is endorsed towards any one of the super straight movement or the trans movement, uh, trans group or LGBTQAIP plus anyone from that group. Uh, no hate is sent towards them. Again, this is just me breaking it down and adding some of my own flair and my opinions on it. So just keeping you updated again. Um, I'm straight. I'm not going to say super straight because straight, in my opinion, is what super straight is. So, yeah. Again, um, feel free to talk in the comments. I would love to hear it again. Uh, no hate meant for anybody. I love everybody. Have a wonderful day. Wear your masks. Stay safe. And let's have a wonderful day. I'll treat everyone like you would want to be treated. That's the best thing you can say. Love you all. Have a wonderful day. Peace, peace. Bye, guys.